Hi guys, it's me again, Lila, here with another Get Ready With Me. This is the look that we'll be doing today. I loved how this came out, so I hope that you enjoy this. Let's get started. Kissy, kissy. <laughs> I already have a MAC Pro Longwear paint pot. Now I'm using the Allegro Pro Prime in Nude. And I'll be using this eyeshadow by Inglot. Applying that lightly into my creases just to add a little bit of definition in the crease. I just, I don't know, it's habit. And I love this eyeshadow. Just to add a little pop of something. So I'll be blending that into the crease and up toward the brow. Wipe that brush off and blend the edges. I'll be using these two eyeshadows and I'll be applying it to the very inner corner. Well, the inner third and the outer third of my eyelid. And letting them meet in the crease, I suppose. You'll see. I'll be blending that quite high. I want this to be a sort of a bedroomy, blown out, smoky sort of eye look just with color. And then blend those edges. If you could hear that noise in the background, it's people bust. Okay, wait. If I say busting, it's sound weird. But they are bursting. <laughs> Bamboo. So sorry about the noise. boy anyway yeah going over that eyeshadow and blending again and now I'll be using this shimmery white eyeshadow these eyeshadows are from my Shiny Masterpiece set, by the way. Just applying that to the brow bone and then blend where it meets with the colors that we put down before. Using this eyeshadow by Ruby Kisses. This is their Luxe Color eyeshadow, and this one is pretty in pink. I'll be applying that to the middle of my lid that I left empty of color. My god, this is the first time that I'm using this color. It is so pretty. Oh my word. I was just like kicking it on because I couldn't get enough. <laughs> and then blend where those colors meet. And now I'm lining my upper lash line thin, quite thin, with the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner Pencil in black, just to accentuate my lash line after I put on my mascara. HD Pro Conceal I Mix Fun and Beautiful Bronze. And I'm applying that under my eyes, along the bridge of my nose, the middle of my forehead, and the middle of my chin. Just blending that out with a damp petal sponge and then I will go over the edges with my foundation brush, foundation buffer brush, just to smoothen it out a bit more and make it look like it's really my skin, I suppose. Yeah, blend that ish. be 
setting that with Sasha camouflage and buttercup. You're really gonna see this powder a lot in my videos, so yeah, I like it. So just applying that everywhere that I applied concealer, this powder has a surprising amount of color actually. I was just a bit more pigment so it's gonna set the concealer and highlight my skin or my face. Skin on my face, face, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Let that sit for a minute and then apply my face powder. This is Jordana Forever Flawless in warm cocoa so I'm applying that everywhere that I did not apply banana uh, not banana cheese buttercup powder oh my god the battery is dying sorry about that crap oh, whatever I'll charge it whenever I'm rambling I'm sorry I'm really sorry and then just brush off that excess buttercup powder So this time in brown, I'm smudging that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to apply that same combo of eyeshadows that I applied to the inner and outer third of my eyes along my lower lash line until the inner corner of my eyes. because we want this to look blown out and sultry and sexy yeah, pretty. and then I'm applying pretty and pink the same color I use for the middle of my lid and my tear duct blend those where they meet of course and then I apply mascara to my top and bottom lashes onto the face I'm using my prisma powder to add some color back to my face bring back some dimension and shadow not shadowing the literal sense of the way, but just to bronze up my skin a bit and add back that color and yeah, dimension. Jeez, I'm repeating myself, sorry, but you know what I mean. If you can hear anybody else talking to my mom, please ignore it. Jeez, I'm actually talking so loud. Uh, yeah. And now I'm using my Nika Key Mineral Press Powder in Dark Chocolate and I'll be sculpting my cheekbones with this. And then blend where the base of those powders meet. So it looks natural, I suppose. Yeah. Now I'll be using this blush. This is from my Shiny Masterpiece palette as well. It's a beautiful pink. I don't know what sort of pink to describe it as, but it's a beautiful candy pink. It's a nice pink. And now I'm gonna use this eyeshadow by Ruby Kisses. It's another Lux Color eyeshadow in Dazzling Sand. Applying that over blush to make it look like I'm glowing from within, I suppose. And then I'll be using my usual highlighter combo to highlight the rest of my face, which is just above my eyebrows, at the outer C by my temples the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bill, and my chin. And then just highlight the tip of my nose. 
Not my lips, I'm using a Jordana lip liner in Sexy Move. This is by far one of my favorite lip liners ever. I'll be filling in my entire lip, both lips, with this. mush them together and reapply and then I'll be using this LA Girl lip liner in deepest plum to add some definition to my lip line and so the color doesn't look that flat it looks sort of ombre but um just not too too stark Sorry about the weird open mouth shot. Mush them together to blend the colors. And then I'll be using this lipstick by LA Colors, their aloe vera and vitamin E lipstick in pink parfait. I'm just dabbing that over both my lips and then mushing them together again and then reapply that deepest brown lip liner to bring back that definition Jesus Christ this woman talking loud <laughs> mush them together and that's it for the look ladies thank you so much for joining me please don't forget to like this video and subscribe share if you will it will really make my day make me very happy jesus the dog oh my god i was so sorry okay stay safe wherever you are god bless and this is see you all in the next one